This is the Pony Chain, the soybean breeder at the Dell Center. I appreciate this opportunity to share with you some of our updates on our soybean breeding program. Our breeding program was built by the best soybean breeder in the U.S., Dr. Gora Shani, now the interim director of the Dell Center. I was very fortunate to inherit this program from Doc Shannon four years ago, along with a well-trained research team. They are very hardworking folks, and frankly, they are the heart and the soul of our breeding program. Yield is our number one goal, but we also cover a wide range of maturity from early fall to mid five, with stable yield and package, stress tolerance, and improved seed quality traits. Our main focus on conventional soybeans, but we also work on Roundup Ready, Labor Link traits. Recently, we have just got access to the popular technologies extend and enlist. The disease package we work on includes stem canker, SDS, phytophthora root rot, frog eye leaf spot, chocolate rot, and three major nematodes, including soybean seed nematode, root knot nematode, and reniform nematode. Our breeding process starts with a crossing block where we cross many different parents with genes of interest and combine most desirable traits into a new variety. Then we quickly advance the surrogating progenies for four generations to true breeding in a winter nursery. Then select pure lines for in-state and regional test. Here is a snapshot of our winter nursery in Puerto Rico. This is another winter nursery in Costa Rica. We also screen materials in the greenhouse for disease, nematodes, salt tolerance, and herbicide tolerance. Breeding is a continuous and a cyclic progress. We start the season with seed packaging, tens of thousands of small packages of different materials, going into small plots for testing and selection purposes. We manage our plots just like a farmer in terms of irrigation and weed control. We take a proper notes along the season and make selections as needed. Then harvest the yield plots and compare with the popular commercial check varieties. Here is what we end up with. Mostly junk, but a few good lines to release as a variety. This list shows 12 lines released from 2016 to 2019 maturity 4.1 to 5.5, nine conventionals and three round ready. Most with resistant to multiple diseases and nematodes and salt tolerance. This year, we're releasing eight new lines, late four and mid early fives with strong disease package and salt tolerance. Here are how they are compared to the popular commercial checks. This mid four around the red line averaged five bushels or 10% better than the checks in 25 different tests in last three years. Ranked the number one in the USDA regional test and uh, top 4% overall. This is a mid four conventional line yielded two bushels or four percent better than the checks in 32 different tests. This is another late four conventional line, very competitive to the checks in 36 different tests, ranked the third in the USDA region trials. Another late four conventional line, two bushels or five percent better than the checks in 37 different tests, ranked the top 19% overall. This is a late four around the red one line, 
4 bushels or 7% better than the Czechs in 37 different tests, ranked second in the UST regional trials. This is an uh, early 5 conventional, 4 bushels or 7% better than Czechs in 37 different tests, ranked the third in the USDA regional trials and top 15% overall. Another early 5 conventional but indeterminate type, popular in the Mid-South, 4 bushels or 7% better than the Czechs in 35 different tests, ranked top 12% overall. We have also released 3 Lake 4 high or lake lines, 2 round the ready, 1 conventional. These lines have 3 times higher oleic acid content in the seed as compared to the commercial varieties. They have also higher protein content and low lolelinic acid in the seed. So when processing for oil, they do not need hydrogenation, therefore no trans fat, so the oil is much healthier. The high oil lake lines are in the process of being commercialized as a new brand called Soil Lake, a new and unique thing for the Missouri. We have also a high protein line soon to be released at the Geroplasm that can be used for the food and the feed market. Here is a list of the lines re with breeder seeds available and foundation seeds in production. You can access any of these lines for testing, breeding, and commercial production, or uh, any other purpose through a material transfer arrangement or license agreement. Here are some contact information just in case you are interested in any of those lines I have talked about today. Thank you for your attention. Please give me a call or text or email if you have any further questions. Thank you. Bye.